Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. The recovery of the Nasdaq yesterday and the slight easing of the US 10-year Treasury yield is setting the stage for today's market moves. Among the large Asia-Pacific bourses, only Taiwan, South Korea, and Australia rose. Europe's stock 600 is snapping a three-day decline with broad gains led by information technology and consumer discretionary sectors. U.S. futures are also trading modestly higher. The dollar is trading heavier against all the majors but the yen and most emerging market currencies. Gold is higher for the third sessions and is back above the 200-day moving average. Last week's high was a little above $1.1830. Oil is recovering from yesterday's setback and February WTI is again poised to challenge the dollar ADA barrel level. Asia-Pacific Market Japan continues to struggle against deflationary impulses. Wages have been flat for nearly 20 years. However, a Bank of Japan survey released earlier today showed that inflation expectations rose to their highest level in 13 years. The dollar held JPY 115.00 yesterday, and so far, the recovery has been limited to slightly more than JPY 115.40. Australia reported November trade figures and retail sales. The former disappointed while the later was twice as strong as expected. Australia's trade surplus fell for the fourth consecutive month. The Australian dollar is firm within yesterday's range. It is holding below $0.7200, a move above their main counter resistance near $0.7220. It appears to be a consolidative session. Market of Europe The Eurozone aggregate November industrial production figures will be reported tomorrow. Recall that last week, Germany and France disappointed. The Euro has been confirmed to about a third of a cent in the upper half of yesterday's range. The North American market took the euro toward the lower end of its recent range dollar 1.1270. The market seemed to have plenty of reasons to unwind the post-US jobs data gains, but it snapped back and settled above dollar 1.13. Today's high is slightly above dollar 1.1350. Sterling is trying to establish a foothold above dollar 1.36. It reached $1.3620 in late Asia, its best level since November 4. Market of America The Fed's vice chairman Clarida is stepping down at the end of this week, a couple weeks before his term ends. The US and Canada have light data calendars today, but ahead are US Fed Chair Powell testifies. The US dollar bounced from the CAD 1.26 yesterday. The bounce carried the greenback to almost CAD 1.27, but it's now back to around CAD 1.2640. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.